Uh, hey, yo, it's Gamers. Welcome back to the eighth installment of the Tower Podcast. Um, it, Tower's Podcast episode eight. That is very, 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 very cool. Um, anyways, a few day, like a week, or like probably more than a week ago by now, um, I read a comment on my last podcast episode. I think where someone was asking me if I could like, or wait, no, they, they were like, they said something about how um. It would be pretty cool if, like, I talked about how, um, like, my, my experience with drinking energy drinks and stuff. Because if you know me, which, I mean, this is probably, like, a basic fact about me by now, but I love energy drinks, well, most energy specifically, but I think that it's pretty cool to talk about them as well. Um, so yeah, this is this episode's episode. This is this this is this this is the topic of today's episode. Um of course my favorite is Monster Original No Sugar. It is the best. It is finally being sold in stores, like proper stores in New Zealand now, so I don't just have to buy it occasionally at the dairy. Um that's really epic. It tastes kinda of like petrol. Like um, I remember my friend Haley brought this up in one of our conversations once because she tried Monster for the first time ever. Um, she just tried the classic original though, not the zero sugar one. But she described it as like like no polish. And like that's exactly what it is. Like no polishy tasting. But also kind of like petrol. And it's uh, delicious and it's tasty and I love it. My mom said that it tastes kinda of like medicine. I mean I get that. But medicine is delicious. What's your guys' favorite medicine? I love all medicine. Medicine is so tasty. Have you guys tried Demizen? Demizen is my favorite medicine to drink. It's so tasty. It's like, it's um, vanilla and peach flavored. Which is epic. I could legit chug, like, bottles upon bottles of it. I'm not going to though, because it's probably expensive. I'm um, pretty sure it's like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah, back to energy drinks. Um, the reason why I like Monster Original No Sugar as opposed to the Classic Original, I mean, like, they taste the same, right? But, like, I just prefer that it has no sugar in it. Because, like, it just, it t- tastes the same, but it just makes me more happy. You know, it's, it's, it's more guilt-free. There's only, like, 13 calories in the entire can, which is pretty cool, Monster Ultra. Or just like any sort of um, monster, no sugar. It's very low calorie as, and that goes for all kinds of diet sodas as well, or like no sugar sodas. Well, usually, um, cause like whenever I drink like the full sugar energy drink, like those, I always feel kind of groggy afterwards, and it's not fun. Um, you know, lots of uh, I guess regret or whatever. But it's it's a nice to taste. Someday I'd like to make it my goal to try every flavor of Monster. I mean, I'm slowly getting there, but it's just kind of hard to find them, right? And also to fit in, like, all of, like, you know, the sugar in them and whatnot. And so that's why I like to stick to the zero sugar ones. But, like, I swear, there are, like, a bajillion different forms of Monster Original. Because, like, there's Monster Original, and then there's Monster Original No Sugar. And then there's Monster Absolutely Zero, which is in a blue can. And then there's Monster Import. There's probably a whole lot of other, like, actually, uh, I can't think of, like, every single Monster Energy flavor on the spot. But, yeah, there's, like, they're, they're all kind of the same, but they're also slightly different. Um, Monster Energy, low car- the low-carb one. Um, and... I like that there's a lot of different ones, but why exactly, like, I mean, I guess that with the original original, then, like, that's, like, the original, right? Original no sugar, that's the same thing, but with a green top, a different, a slightly different can design, and no sugar, of course, and then Monster Absolutely Zero, that one has low carbs, and is in a blue can, a can, that's, like, even lower carbs, um, it's only, like, what's it called? Like, eight calories, I think. Um, and then the most important, that one's in a big can with a different sign. Um, and there's, like, 50 milliliters more monster in that can. Oh, yeah, there's also the mega monsters, which I've never seen or never tried, like, in real life. 
Um, but I'd love to try one of them though. I guess that they'd just be like bigger and they have that cool twisty top at the can. Like the twisty top, the twisty cap. The Monster Import also has that twisty, the, the cool twisty thing, but it's slightly different. Um, it's not like a cap, like the monster, like the Mega Monster. It's just a, another sort of twisty thing. It's pretty cool. Um, and then there's a low carb one, which is like the same as Absolute Zero, but with a slightly different can design, I think. Um, pretty cool. Anyways, so like uh, a quick background information with me and my history of energy drinks, or even just like soft drinks in general. Like my entire life, basically, or, like for most of my life, I was absolutely against drinking, like, any sort of soft drink whatsoever. Just because I didn't like the, the the first time I remember ever trying, like, a soft drink was when I was, like, a toddler. Or, like, a, yeah, actually, no, I think I might have been, like, eight or nine or something. So, not a toddler, like, a child. Like, yeah, a child. And I remember one time I accidentally had a sip of Coca-Cola. I was supposed to have Rara, but I accidentally got cola. Um, and I taste it and it hurt my throat and I never drink soda. Or like any of that kind of stuff. Um, until last year, actually, this may be surprising to me, you guys, but it was only actually last year that I got into like soda or whatever. You see, I was at this birthday party. Well, it wasn't like, it wasn't like a child's birthday party. It was my, um, granddad's brother's birthday party and it was at a golf place and there were like a bunch of family members there who I had no cl I, I I didn't know anyone there really except for my immediate family um but at the golf place you could get free like energy drinks or soda I wanted to try like one of the um blue uh V's V so yeah the 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 first ever kind of actual energy drink that I had was a V, the blue one, full of sugar. I had two of them in one hour, and it was absolutely delicious. It was one of my most favorite things, favorite things ever, and I was hooked immediately. Um, and since then, every week on shopping week, I started venturing out with the different flavors of Vs. Um, I settled on the light pink V because like the, the classic dark blue V that, that was the first one that I tried um, That is full of sugar. I Do not like sugary energy drinks as I stated a few minutes ago um, So I settled for the light pink one which I don't I forgot the flavor of it, but it was tasty wasn't it like like uh, watermelon and pineapples. So I, I don't remember well, it was watermelon and something, I think. I, I, I forgot raspberry. I, I actually have no clue. Um, but that was that. And I got that every week, every day. On, I mean, every week on grocery shopping day on Saturday. And I got a Kinder Surprise with that. And that was my go-to. And then I visited my brother. And I remember we were at a cafe. And we were having waffles. And we were talking about energy drinks. That was the topic of conversation. And then my brother, he briefly mentioned that, like, he, no, he, he asked me if I had tried Monster. To which I just said, oh, no, 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 I haven't tried it. Is it good? Because, like, I, I've always known that, like, Monster Energy, like, it seemed super cool to me. But I just never tried it. Um, because I wasn't sure if my parent, or, like, I wasn't sure if my mom would allow me to try it. Um... And so I asked my brother about it, and I was just like, yeah, is, is, is it good or whatever? And he was just like, yeah, it's actually really good. Um, his flavor, monster flavor is ultra gold, which is pineapple flavored. Um, and so that week at grocery shopping, um, yeah, my mom and I, I, or I decided to try the ultra gold can of monster. And I tried it, and... And in my mind, my I, I was just changed. That was a moment that my life changed and impacted in a, such a way that I became pa 
practically a different person. Um, that was a good day. I think it was, like, June or July last year, so that was, like, one year ago, or, like, 11 months ago, almost. It's basically, like, it's gonna be the start of, um, well, currently, as I'm recording this, it's the 29th of June. This is gonna be posted at, um, on the 30th of June, 7am, New Zealand time. I, I always set my videos to the, to be posted at that time. Don't know why. Perhaps I'll change that in the future. But anyways, so yeah, that was about about a year ago, roughly, in which I tried a can of monster for the first time. And I remember I was actually ecstatic about it. And I was just like, oh my god, this is so cool. I kept the tab. Um and I I remember that I attached I attached one of those uh, necklace hook thingies on it, like one of those jewelry hooks onto it and I wanted to put it everywhere because like the tabs that was that was like that was the coolest thing I'd ever seen ever because like it was like a real moss energy tab in real life and I was just I was shaken by the fact that I could actually have because like it wasn't like the v-tab because like it wasn't ba most tabs they're not basic silver tab well I mean some of them are but like for the most part of monster drinks like they well in New Zealand they're like they're uh, like black rectangular and have mo the monster logo on it and that was so cool and I wanted I I wanted to show off my tab in every way shape and form and so I I got a little um yeah a uh, necklace thing and I hooked it to my bag um and then later on I remember I tried a can of ultra rosa the pink one or well, one of the pink ones isn't it like like raspberry lemonade flavored or something um and that that instantly became my favorite um it's not my favorite anymore but that was my favorite that that was my favorites at, at the time and so that's that was what i resorted to and every week well i mean of course i had to try like all of the other monster flavors as well but eventually i settled on mainly getting ultra rosa um and of course, a pink and surprise egg, still, um, and that was just my go-to for months and months and months. I actually, um, I a fun fact: if you look through my old, if you look through my old channel videos, in one of my like really old freedom videos, I remember I was actually because I like I remember I posted that the day that I tried the can of ultra rose sometime. So yeah, there there are actually there there is actually footage of me before I became a monster addict. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, um and that was my go-to. And then uh I remember that a few months ago, October last year I think, um I was at my friend Haley's house and we were hanging out and then by the time that I was driving home like, I was super duper sad because, like, we had visited my grandparents, right, as well. My mom and I. And my uncle, he, he used to work at a supermarket. And, like, he said that um, he had ordered, like, the Ultra Peach Key Monsters. Because, like, he, what, what, what you have to understand is that, like, in New Zealand, right, we don't have that big of a supply of like monster flavors or variants or whatever so ultra pg keen was only released in supermarkets like just a few months ago um and so i went to the supermarket like my mom and i we went to the supermarket i raced inside and after finding out that we got a can of ultra that they had ultra peach keen in stock i got it i drank it it was my favorite thing ever and that became my new go-to because like a few weeks later it did get released in grocery stores most grocery stores and yeah that that was my go-to and i got that and a pink kinder surprise egg <laughs> um it, it's so delicious it tastes like fizzy peach juice and i like the can as well it's it's peachy colored um and so yeah love that right and ever since then yeah i've just been hooked on monster basically well actually since for like a year now it's just been monster energy i i still actually count how many cans i've had like i have this little like box thingy like a little tin that i've had 
for years and um I have like a little I guess it's like a grid thing that I color in to determine how many cats and monsters I have I've ever had so in only like what the past like 11 12 months I have had 202 cans of monster um that sounds like a lot, but I swear it, it's it's not that, well, I mean, yes, I have made an entire belt out of monster dabs with a bunch of bracelets and necklaces and jewelry out of monster dabs, but it's it's overwhelming to say the most. <laughs> um But it's tasty and like the attitude like I mean it's it's not like it was it's it's not that bad. I mean, yes, the additives may not be the best thing in the world, but for the most part, I've mainly had the sugar-free ones, and that that makes it excusable, right? 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 Um, yeah, that that two hundred and two cat. That okay, yeah, that that may be a bit excessive, um, but that's alright. <laughs> um, oh yeah, and it was only like a couple months ago. A couple of months, a, a, a few months ago, that, like, Ultra Strawberry Dreams was released in New Zealand. I, of course, made a review for that, and that used to be my go-to when, um, going grocery shopping for, like, only a few weeks, and then original No Sugar got released, and since then, I've been having that. My go-to grocery snack is one can of original Zero Sugar Monster. No Kinder Surprise eggs. I've actually stopped getting Kinder Surprise eggs. Just to, you know, I guess get rid of sugar. I'd, I'd like to cut sugar out of my life. You see, uh, it's it's strange because, like, it kind of fluctuates. Like, my relationship with sugar fluctuates. Either it's, it's like, oh my god, I love sugar. Sugar is amazing. I'd like my diet to be just sugar, nothing else. But then other times I'm just like, you know, I think it would be for the best that I just cut out sugar, like, it's, it's one or the other, I, I guess, or I just don't really care about it or think about it, um, but how, I would, uh, and it's hard to decide when you're, like, what's it called, if, if, you, if you have, like, two opposing ideas and you're drawn, drawn to, like, both of them, it's really hard to, like, like, find a middle ground. Well, actually, no. It's actually really simple to find a middle ground. What if I just balance my sugar intake? Because, like, I mean, it's not like I snack a lot. Like, I mean, I... For the most part, usually, I don't really eat, like, that much, I guess. I mean, well, like, I have a protein shake for breakfast. Go about with my day. If it's a school day, then I... It's a high chance that I won't eat the school lunch, because a lot of the times it is kind of gross, to be honest. I mean, sometimes it can be decent, but not in a way where it's just like, oh my god, I I need to eat that. And like, it's not like that. Like, I can I could easily skip that, right? And so, and also the protein shake, it's like super filling, right? You sometimes I feel like a lot of like super bloated, and so I have to wait until dinner, right? Um. So a can of Monster Mo like I don't really snack as well, so it's not that much sugar, really. And then, of course, on Saturdays, I have my amazing can of Monster, and we might go out for lunch. Um, so yes, in conclusion, I love energy drinks. Monster specifically, I'm not that big of a fan of V anymore. I think that it's too spicy and hurts my throat. Actually, no, not exactly spicy, just not my favorite thing in the world. Also, the cans are so small. Like, why are the cans so small? Most energy has, provides much bigger cans. I mean, yes, the cans are, like, way more expensive. And by that, I mean, they're, like, four dollars. Did I tell you guys that one time that I spent a bajillion dollars on Monster? And I got a headache afterwards. I bought, like, three cans, chug them all. Anyways, oh, shoot, this episode is going to end soon. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all these updates. Bye-bye.